everybody, Bill in Alaska, and welcome back to my channel. Boy, oh boy, um, <laughs> what a bumpy, bumpy, rough week it's been. Uh, didn't put out my video last Friday like I normally do. I was kind of out of it. Uh, for those of you who have been following me know, uh, almost two weeks ago, a week and a half, I started a sardine fast or sardine challenge. Um, I was going to try to go 30 days and quit coffee at the same time. Now, I haven't been, I've been a coffee drinker since I was a teenager. I mean, I've drank coffee for like 40 years. <laughs> and there's there's been a few times where I maybe I went a, a couple of days without coffee. But pretty much, you know, I drink coffee on a regular basis. Even this last year on Carnivore. And, you know, and I still did amazingly well on Carnivore, down 270 pounds. Um... But man, I uh, I don't know what happened, but I started the sardines and quit coffee. And a couple days later, I started not feeling good at all. And by, by the fourth day, I was full blown. My, my neuropathy came back, my legs got all numb again. It started in my calves, my calves went completely numb. And then it moved up, moved all the way up to my waist. Um, and even using my vibration plate, no pain this time. You know, that vibration plate really helped me. It makes the pains disappear. But, um, yeah, the numbness came back and I felt terrible. I felt way worse than I would imagine just a simple caffeine withdrawal. You know, a lot of people say, you know, they get terrible headaches and stuff. But this was, this was something different. I felt really, really terrible and, like, starting to get depressed and, well, my mind wasn't right. It was it was pretty scary. I'm still not 100 percent, but uh, I'm a lot better than I was, you know, three or four days ago. Oh, that was rough. I actually, after three days on the sardines, I felt so terrible, almost panic level terrible. I uh, sardines and no caffeine, no coffee. Um, I broke down and I had a steak. Like something, try I tried anything to make me pull out of it and feel better. It may have worked a little bit having that steak. The, I cooked a ribeye. Actually, the last ribeye of that big primal from when Carrie and Emma were here. But um, anyway, so I went three days, sardines, no coffee, got super, super sick. Ended up having a ribeye. Didn't really help too much. Um, went back on the sardines. I've been back on the sardines now for like another four days or so. Still no coffee. Still no coffee, and I feel better. But and I, my numbness is starting to lessen too in my legs. But man, whatever that was, it was a combination. Of, you know, before Carrie and Emma came, I went on the sardines, same brand, Nuri, N-U-R-I brand, great sardines. Um, I did a week fast then before they came, and I have not felt that good in a long time. I think you guys remember. Uh, it was I felt amazing. That's why I decided to do the 30-day starting a challenge because of how good I felt after one week. But this time, I don't know what happened. I, I was, was almost thinking food poisoning at one point. I was feeling so terrible. Um, I couldn't imagine just a simple caffeine withdrawal would make me go through that, that, that profound of a discomfort. Maybe it did. Like I said, I've been drinking coffee my entire life. Um, but now we're going on what, like 10 days, no coffee. Um, and I've been on sardines except for one day. I cooked a ribeye. I, I recorded it, actually. I'll show you guys later. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to come out of it. Uh, but yeah, that was a that was a terrible experience. If that was a caffeine withdrawal, that was very severe. <laughs> that was that was very severe. Um, but I'm through the worst part of it now. Still not 100%, but feeling a lot better. But anyway, I'm back in the sardines again for, uh, I'm going to try to go for the rest of the month. We'll see how that works out. Um, hopefully I keep continuing to feel better. Uh, man, the weather here, aside from, uh, aside from me feeling so down and out the last week and a half, it's just been solid rain. We've had like one non-rain day, <laughs> uh, since my last video. I actually went out, I had someone gift me the most incredible gift a crossbow, a Matthews crossbow. It's actually called the Mission Sub One Light. Um, just a good friend gifted me. He didn't, he wanted to stay anonymous. 
he uh, he just says, "Well, just tell him a, a friend gave it to you." So I had a, I had a good friend give me gift me a brand new, most amazing crossbow. Uh, I had a cross, or my dad had a crossbow when I was a child, but I've shot mostly just bows um, and mostly recurve bows. I lost my recurve in the fire a few years back, but um, anyway. Uh, I had a friend gift me the most amazing crossbow and Adam I think you guys have may, maybe I've shown you Adam before in one of my previous videos maybe not um, he doesn't live here he li Adam lives about an hour from here back in Wasilla uh, he came up he brought his recurve and uh, I busted out my crossbow and shot it for the first time so I got some footage of us out there shooting and my stepmother too and it was what she did with that thing was amazing I'll show you guys uh, but besides that, it's with my sickness and the weather, I haven't done much. I, I only went outside one time, and that was shooting the bow. Um, I had so much things on my plate because summer is winding down. We're in fall now. Uh, you know, mushroom hunting and try to squeeze in some more fishing, but it's been rough. The weather has been uncooperative, and then I've been sick for the last week and a half. But uh, there's still time. I got the rest of this month the rest of this month, the rest of fall, to try to really squeeze in some more outdoor activities before the real cold weather sets in because the snow flies in October around these parts. But, um, so not a whole lot of content as usual for the last couple of videos, unfortunately, but um, hoping to rectify that here the rest of this month. Uh, but before we get to the rest of the video, as always, let's take a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Element. Why is it that people who try Element for the very first time continue to order and reorder again month after month? It's because it works. It really works. You really do feel a difference. And electrolyte imbalance and electrolyte deficiency can carry with it a whole host of negative symptoms. Symptoms like headache, chronic fatigue, irritability, and trouble sleeping. But when your hydration and electrolyte ratios are in harmonious balance, like they are in Element, which is scientifically formulated with the perfect amounts of sodium, potassium, and magnesium, then you can be ready to have an amazing and productive day. Element has zero sugars and zero preservatives and whether you choose their original powdered drink mix or their beverage sparkling, you can trust that Element has just what you need to improve your health and your life. Just go to drinklmnt.com forward slash Bill Knott to get a great website with a lot more in-depth scientific information on this incredible product. And as always, with any size order that you make, when you use my link, you'll get a free eight serving, eight flavor sample pack. So you can choose which flavor is best for you or pass them out to family and friends and share the gift of incredible health. It's an amazing thing. Order yours today. All right, just came outside and get some stuff set up. There's a crossbow, there's a tripod, there's my new uh, range finder, which I think I might take back and get one uh, one up from this one quality wise this is just a little little bit on the cheap side where's your bow adam's bow and i'm gonna take this boy to school <laughs> <You win. laughs> we gotta get set up for the fire yeah it's been a while just getting stuff set up there's our targets over there getting ready to bust out the crossbow setting up my tripod got it all set up i got it in the our brand new bog tripod this is the bog uh death grip carbon fiber death grip my mission crossbow the uh the sub one this is a sub one light all right just switch from fire or from safety to fire and here we go
Oh, baby. That's got a little kick to it. That's got a little kick more than I thought. That's nice. Nice. And that's pretty sighted in. That's pretty good. We're from the shoulder forward. All right, we're getting ready to do uh, shot number two. That first one was awesome. And then uh, after the third shot, uh, we're going to move the targets back. Yeah. Yep. The mama did that. Very first shot from my brand new crossbow. I didn't even get a bullseye. <laughs> that was amazing. You should have let me record that. That would have been so awesome. Well, I didn't know if I was gonna miss it or not. <laughs> I will right, see how you do when he moves the targets back 50 feet. Oh. Where did that go? <laughs> right above the line. You are a dead eye. Had him shooting the crossbow for the first time. Oh, meant it. <laughs> I was gonna say, should I say something, or is he gonna remember? Oh. Were you going dead center? Yeah, or trying to, anyways. I was pretty close. Wish this camera had a better zoom. Need to upgrade. Alright, we're working on getting this thing surgically sighted in. Making small little adjustments to the optics. We're just putting our crossbow up. Look who decided our crossbow case is a bed. Did he? It's not a bed. That's our crossbow in this case. It's your bed. Hmm. Our crossbow case is your new bed. He didn't even let me finish it up. He just hopped right up and laid down. You gonna let me put our crossbow up now? Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Are you going to go Something that miraculous just never gets old. So about seven or eight months ago, it was like it was in the middle of last winter, beginning or middle of last winter. Um, my regular viewers will, some of you will remember, I in, uh, pl I did a little like 60 second, 90 second clip of me playing guitar for a really short amount of time. And then I messed up and hit a sour chord, <laughs> like it was terrible. 
Um, and I did a little, put a little sound effect, you know, wah, 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 wah. I just thought it'd be funny. But I put that in one of my videos like quite a while ago, last winter. Um, and I've had so many comment after that in the months that followed, like, Bill, when are you gonna play guitar again? Um, you know, I play guitar since, since I was a kid. Uh, guitar, piano, saxophone, violin, pretty much any instrument, anything that made music, I've, I've always been able to play. Um, my mom was the same way. But my my biological mother, but uh, anyway, my guitar playing in, in in like I haven't played played piano in years and years, and I'll go for sometimes months at a time without picking up my guitar. I'll play it and play it and play it and play it, and then I'll go for long periods of time. And in the last like six months, I've barely touched my guitar. I'll I'll pick it up once in a while, but um, I decided I'm going to start playing again regularly. So, uh, you know, since the last time I posted that video with that little clip of me playing the guitar, I've had thousands of new uh, subscribers. So I'm going to pop that same video clip of me playing just like a 60 second tiny little clip until I mess up. Um, I'm going to post that again uh, and I'm going to start playing regularly again. And this, this winter, I plan on putting a lot more of uh, me playing uh, in for content. And... Uh, like I said, I played piano, but I hadn't played piano in like seven or eight years, a long time. I had not touched keys in, in forever, since a couple years before the wildfire that wiped us out. Uh, and my brother Jason, not too long ago, picked up a, a little Roland electronic piano, just one of their cheaper models. Uh, and I finally had Jared bring it over, just like four days ago. And so for the first time in, for, in years and years, I actually played a piano again. And that got my juices flowing for the piano. So I'm going to start. Jason's going to let me borrow the piano for a while. Now you guys will see here in a minute. Actually, it's right right there. That place is a mess. Since I've been down and out, my place was so cluttered. Um, anyway, I played piano for the first time in years and years. And I recorded myself just a couple days ago. Another little 30-second clip. Um... Anyway, I'm going to start playing guitar and piano more regularly, and I'll, I'll start including them, the footage of that in my videos, especially this coming winter. Uh, but here's just a couple little clips of that. start to wrap this one up i apologize this didn't have as much outside content as i would have liked on this one my last couple videos have not had you know the weather and me getting down and out again you know losing being 700 pounds and then dropping you know hundreds of pounds it uh it's a bumpy road there's definitely ups and downs so i just i just went through another down but i'm coming out of it 
Um, I still got the rest of this month to squeeze in a bunch more outside footage of fishing and I want to get a little more gold painting in. I, I, I got like six months worth of ideas in my head. I need to cram into this next three, four weeks before the snow flies and it gets real cold. Um, but it's a beautiful time of year up here. It's fall and all the leaves are color and I just, I can't wait for the next nice day. I was just talking to Jared. We're going to head out and get some really great footage. Um, find a good river to uh, get some, um, hopefully some pay dirt for some panning and uh, some good, get some good drone footage. But weather, weather permitting because the 10 day forecast is not looking good. It's like rain, 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 rain. But it's, the forecast changes a lot. So we'll see. Hopefully you guys pray for good weather for me. Um, but anyway, as usual. Take a look around in the world and prepare, prepare, prepare. Repent, repent, repent. That's so important. Forgive one another. Be kind to each other and go out of your way to be kind and forgive one another. It takes a little bit of effort, but it pays dividends, eternal dividends, I promise you. It's amazing. I love you guys, and we will see you in a few days on the next one. Yeah.